The Milky Way Galaxy is a vast spiral galaxy and the main setting for the Warhammer 40,000 universe. It measures roughly 19,000 light years across and 15,000 light years thick, containing an estimated 400 billion stars. It has seen the rise and fall of countless races and civilizations, from the reign of the Old Ones to the emergence of the Young Tau Empire. The Imperium, the empire of the human species, has divided the galaxy into five separate segmentums, with each segmentum further divided into sectors, which typically cover 7 million cubic light years. These five segmentums are Segmentum Solar, Ultima Segmentum, Segmentum Tempestus, Segmentum Pacificus, and Segmentum Obscurus. Over the course of its existence, the galaxy has experienced vast amounts of conflict, ranging from the war in heaven between the Old Ones and the Necron Tyr, the Great Crusade, the Horus Heresy, the War of the Beast, demonic incursions from warp space, and the emergence of the extragalactic threat of the Tyranids. But are all these conflicts becoming too much for the galaxy itself to bear? In recent years, the amount of conflict within the galaxy has resulted with the ever-increasing amount of warp tears, areas where the Immaterium and the Material Universe intertwine, causing the chaotic energy of the warp to seep into real space. Warp tears themselves are not new phenomena within the galaxy, as there have been many notable warp and real space overlaps, including the Eye of Terror, the Maelstrom, Storm of the Emperor's Wrath, amongst others. However, since the War of the Fenris system, which during the aftermath of which saw the plant of sorcerers, Sortiarius, being pulled from warp space into the material realm into the desolate Prospero system, and the fall of Cadia during the 13th Black Crusade, which saw the destruction of the planet, a massive crack within the very fabric of reality has slowly spread across the galaxy. This crack in reality is known as the Secatrix Maledictum, and has spread from the Galactic Northwest, starting with the Eye of Terror, and travelled across the very galaxy, passing through the Fenris system, the Galactic Core, and even towards the Tau Empire of the Eastern Fringes. Could the Circuitrix Maledictum signal the beginning of an apocalypse for the galaxy? The warp itself will be spilling forth from this crack in reality, and as such will result in an increase in chaotic corruption, such as mutation, as well as an increase in demonic activity, allowing demons to enter the material universe with much greater ease without necessarily needing the use of summoning rituals or the possession of mortal bodies. Since the appearance of this crack in reality, there is always the danger of it growing larger and larger. Ever since the destruction of Cadia, the Eye of Terror, the warp tear that was once the largest of its kind within the galaxy, has grown even larger. But the real question is thus, the galactic core has seemingly been turned into a gigantic warp tear as well, a huge swirling mass of chaotic energies. Since the Eye of Terror was created through the birth of the Chaos God Slanesh, could this even larger rift in the galactic core be due to the creation of another deity? Perhaps the awakening of Inead, the newly formed Eldar God of the Dead, or perhaps a new Chaos God, one who will ascend to the Pantheon and establish itself as the dominant ruinous power. Perhaps the reasoning for the amount of warp energy in the galactic core is simply due to the gravitational mass of the core drawing excess warp energy from the Circuitrix Maledictum into itself. But one thing is for certain, if this crack in reality continues to grow larger and larger, then all of reality and all races, human, Eldar, Orc, Tau and Tyranid alike, will eventually be consumed and corrupted by the warp. Indeed, this seemingly harkens back to the ancient warnings of the Cabal, and their visions of the galaxy if the Imperium won the Horus Heresy. At this point in time, it looks like that their prophecy is being fulfilled. Thanks for watching.